Welcome to Fiery Smart Support. My name is Emery, your virtual assistant for Fiery Specialty Applications. In today's video I would like to show you how to get started with Digital Factory direct to film using Epson printers. So let's get started. It's very important to prepare your printer each day when printing with DTF printers. Many printing problems can be prevented by following these steps if you have any problems getting white ink to print. It's always good practice to shake the white ink, do a head cleaning and nozzle check to make sure there are no head clogs. This should be done as part of a daily maintenance ritual on your DTF printer. You can send a head clean and print the nozzle check pattern from the printer itself or from Digital Factory by clicking on Devices, Printer Properties. A nozzle check on a DTF printer will also have white channels. If it looks like the top image, you're all set. If it looks like the bottom you should do another cleaning. When printing with an Epson printer, you may find that the printer only prints a small strip in the middle of the sheet. This happens when the printer can't sense the width of the film in your printer. There are a few tricks you can do to prevent this. Put several sheets of film in the printer feeder. Place a sheet of paper the same width of the film, behind the film in the feeder. Place painter's tape on the back of the width of the film at the leading edge of the film. When installing Digital Factory for the first time you'll be prompted to install your Epson printer. I've installed the Epson ET8550V2 driver. Always install the V2 driver if it's available for your printer. Installing the V2 driver allows you to set the ink order easily. Click on Q, Set Ink Order. Then click on each channel to set the ink order to correspond with your printer. Click on OK. Note, your printer may have a different ink order than I've set in this video. Next we need to ensure that advanced settings and options are checked. Go to Tools, Options and click in the box beside Show Advanced Settings and Options. Click Save and Close. The next step is to choose the type and size of film you have in your printer. Go to Q, Properties, Media Setup and select either Fixed Sheet Media, or Roll Media. You'll see there are two other options but in this video we will select Fixed Sheet Media. Next select the sheet size. I've selected 13 by 19. Click OK. If you are using Roll Media you can select Roll and choose the width of the roll you're using. If you're using matte film instead of glossy, it's a good idea to change the film type for better quality prints. Go to Q, Properties, Color Layer, Printer Options and look for Media Type. In the drop-down selection, choose Premium Photo Paper Matte. Click OK. Note, your printer may have different media options. Advanced settings may need to be enabled to change the media type. Go to Tools, Options and check the box beside Show Advanced Settings and Options. The default print mode for most printers is set to Color Garment. If you click on the drop-down you'll see many other print modes to choose from. Color Garment refers to the color of the garment you'll be transferring the image to. If you choose Black Garment, black will automatically be removed from your image and the black from your garment will replace the ink in your image. This will save you money on black ink as well as white ink under the black. When using the black print mode, if you import an image with a black background, it will be removed automatically. If you select white garment, white will be removed from the image. Note the white underbase will still print over the color in the image. The color adjust button is found at the bottom right section of the screen. Click on color adjust to open the easy color adjustments window. The default selection is ICC which should be used if your image was created with an ICC profile. Photo is great to use for photos or any image with skin tones or gradients. Graphics can be used for any graphic image. I will set the default to graphics. Now that the default is set to graphics, all future jobs imported to the queue will use the graphics setting. The CAD link test page is a good choice for your first print. All of the colors are labeled and after printing you can verify that your ink order is set correctly. Click on Devices, Print Test Page and scroll down until you find the CAD Link Test Page. 
import it to the queue by clicking OK. Then click on the print icon to print. Notice that your image will mirror automatically when imported into the queue. If you see a holding error when trying to print, the first thing to check is the printer port. To check the port, click on Queue, Manage Queue, and look for the port column. Click on the drop-down and select TCPIP. If your printer is on the network, it should populate. Select the printer and hit OK. If you are connected with USB, select the USB port for your printer. And that should give you the information you need to get started using Digital Factory for direct-to-film printing with Epson printers. Thank you for watching.